So today I have for you this beautiful upgraded Are eagle. Meet to late silent? game on the budget and let me show you how it flies and fights after all those upgrades. We do already have enemies in here. There are some variums facing us. So let's maybe open fire. Let's say hello. They really want it. We have it for them. It does. Oh, the power levels are not adjusted. Good. Now we have some power into our weapons. Let's go after them. I don't need to run away. I'm going after them. And it's down. High level Varum. And surprisingly, upgrade for this ship is just 110k. And it does everything. Was it there another Varum? Maybe there was only one. But nevertheless, it is equipped with a nice battery of beams and EM weapons. So this is the guy with EM weapons in here too. If you want to gently attack ships and board them. So you have everything available. So now let me show you how I put it all together. What I did to the Eagle to make it so much better on the budget. Star Eagle. Amazing ship from mid to late game for everyone who do not have plans to upgrade piloting skills just yet because this is class A ship. And now if you don't know how to get it, if you don't have it yet, I will just let you know real fast how to get it. So all you need to do, go to Cheyenne system, planet Aquila, then Aquila city. And as soon as you enter Aquila City, this will trigger a quest line for a free star. You will work for the sheriff in there and you will progress in this quest line until when you finish it, you will get a Star Eagle as a reward. And now to upgrade our Star Eagle, we are going to Sol System and Space Station Deimos uh, orbiting Mars. We'll be upgrading it in here. Inside the space station, just run straight a little bit to the left. You will see a staircase. Go down and talk Welcome with Nikao. First, I really care about interiors to be more useful than those are on the Star Eagle. And I want to keep it looking about the same. Not exactly the same, but about as is as Eagle. So I'm moving over those two. EMP weapons, I will keep them as this is the unique part about Star Eagle. It should be law enforcement. So for this build, I'm keeping those EMPs, especially that those are endgame EMPs available very early if you unlock this ship early. Now what we'll be doing here, we need to remove some of the landing gears as we are changing the docking bay. So remove this landing gear, go underneath. Select this landing bay, delete it, and we are inserting in here a Deimos landing bay. A little bit bigger and entrance up, so we eliminate a need to walk all the ladders. Now from the top side, we need to streamline it a little bit and move stuff around. So this goes forward, this piece goes forward, uh, this docker as well goes forward shield like we're basically moving most of the stuff a little bit forward as well it will give us access to what is underneath that we need to redo those three pieces go now i will replace all those in habitats for deimos ones unless you really want this brick on your ship then you can keep it i prefer on the main level to have stuff that is more useful so now I'm adding habitats from Deimos, two in one. And first one, the standard one. I will show you how it looks like inside when I'm done. So that will be improvement to kind of a maze that is there by default. Then I put a workshop. Of course, doesn't want to place. Come and place yourself workshop. Workshop. And then on other side, I'm attaching the science lab. So we have workshop, science lab, bedroom, all in there, streamlined. 
Of course, if you really care about getting highest possible mobility, you will either need to reduce the cargo capacity or change how the eagle looks like. If you want to keep the nice big eagle look, the mobility cannot be 100, or you will need to add even more engines, and that's not worth it. So we're going with slightly lower mobility, but still very good. You, I will I will show you in combat, or I probably already did before the video start. Either way, you will see it. Now for the top part here, I don't want any more inhabitants that can cause a maze, so not inhabitant, but we are going for structural components, and we are using Deimos Hill like attaching those. Those are just structural components. There is nothing inside, so there will be no additional doors in here created. Then we need to attach on site. Again, demos are the same components that this ship is already using, so it will uh, fit perfectly. And we want to add uh, this wing, but okay. Doesn't want to add here, so add it in here. Flip it out this way. The second variant fits here, and the same on the other side. Got it. So that's streamlined on top. Of course, when we add paint back, it will improve greatly. Now it's gray, and that's not how it's supposed to be, but we will get into the paint. Now to finish the look in front a little bit, so it doesn't like have straight end without a reason, we add some viewing experience in space some windows from what is too weak on this ship the grab drive unfortunately need to be replaced so that's some cost but it will not be very expensive upgrade so don't worry i'm trying to keep it friendly on your wallet and we are going for a grab drive and if you don't want to use any of the design we are going for Air for we are going for Air 3000. If you do plan to get your design max out, of course you can use higher grade than that, but this will give us enough wrench, it's 900. As you can see, the drive wrench is 23, but I'm only getting 900, uh, 19, as there is too much weight on this ship. At this point, we need to replace weapons for something really good. So let's grab those and let's remove those missile launchers too. Okay, uh, the EMPs will stay. EMPs will stay. I'm keeping the EMPs on this one. Now there is quite a lot of weapon attachments already, so let's start adding. And the best weapon on slot number one, I would use Vanguard Obliterator Auto Projector. If you don't know how to unlock it, uh, what I said wrong in last one, you need to join Vanguard and do the first quest for them. So Vanguard is in a most district in New Atlantis. So you will find it easily. Now we are placing total of six obliterators. There are attachments over there. So obliterators attach underneath. Jump, no, obliterator, please. And two obliterators just put on top. There is room for two more, and that's six total. That's the only weapon that you can play six. Extremely powerful and available from level one, so... Crazy power. Probably a typo when someone was putting the max power for those weapons. But hey, <laughs> the best weapon. So for class A. So then the second weapon we are putting on the tail, and that will be PBO-30. There are better PBOs, PBO 40 and 50, if you have Starship design. Without Starship design, this one is great and cheap, so two in one. And we can attach on the side too, so those will be tail mounted here. And on the side, where did it jump? On the side, not this one. I mean, I like these Raptors, those are cool, but we are going with PBO 30 Auto Electron Beams. Four of those, so I'm assigning Vanguard first, PBO second, uh, Suppressor third. Now the paint, so select the whole ship, do the paint. I'm just moving all the sliders a bit left and right. That updates the paint for entire ship. That 
what I found is the easiest method. And now it's painted. Confirm. We're not yet completely done. I forgot to redo the bottom of the ship. If we don't do that, there will be like a trap when you can fall down. I really don't like that those are those habitats on the bottom and you can fall in there for absolutely no reason. So I do recommend removing those and replacing the essential elements that need to be replaced with structural uh, Damus hull, the same as we are doing on top. Uh, the middle that can be just reorganized with those. And now the last place again in here we put a structural element so that's filled up and in here to make it look better we put in a nice streamline of Deimos belly 4 so that will that will stream it streamline the shape perfectly it doesn't add much to the cost it's 1500 and it will look way better we just need to redo the paint again now let's show me this beauty inside and now let me show you this birdie inside. Let's run and have a tour. That's how the landing bay looked like. We enter straight in. We have our cockpit. The originally equipped here, so we didn't modify this part. Read any good books uh, then if you move forward, there is one ladder in here that must be, as that's a docker on top. You will not be going up normally, there is like no reason. But if you want to see what's in here, your crew will be hanging out in this area. There is this docker and your crew can be hanging out in this area. You have no purpose to go there. And the reason we remove everything from down below, otherwise there would be a ladder here. And you will always need to be careful don't to fall down or walk around or crash into it. At least that's what happening to me. There are two beds, so there is good chance one will be available for you if your crew decided to have a nap. Then to one side, you have all your research station. I mean, this side you have all your workbench stations that you may possibly use weapons, spacesuits, industrial and nice window so we can have a look what's going on on the outside and on other side you have yeah, your well, research you have station place. and pharmaceutical Not lab bad. Bad. so all available in here there's really large cargo as well so we'll have all those resources that you need in this ship and that it is that's my version of the eagle upgraded with very effective weapons streamlined interiors and that's it. I didn't reduce cargo because this is already a great ship to start with. Now it's even better. If you want, you can copy that or you can redo it as you please. And that being said, thank you a lot for watching and see you all in the next one. Ready here. Core is good too.